Devotional number 27. Prayer is relationship and not a replacement of our effort. Prayer is not a means for God to work so that we don't have to. God has not chosen prayer as his means to evangelize. God has not chosen prayer as his means for souls to be saved. Prayer is a partnership where God and the believer walk in relationship. Out of that relationship comes the leading of God on our lives to do what we could never do, like evangelize effectively. God chose preaching as his primary means to see souls saved. Just like we pray before we eat and then we partake, it's the same with what obedience looks like for the believer. We pray, then obey. Obedience may be tough, but it's easier with prayer because God enables us to do what we never could do on our own. Prayer is a lot more practical than we may have thought. Prayer is simply a relationship, including God in our decision making, bringing him in uh, on our every day, seeking the word of God for counsel, releasing stress, sin and frustration to God, all show that we were designed for this relationship with God. Only God listens and never interrupts. Only God listens and has the power to take the pain of our soul away so that we can have peace. Once we pray, he will give us the motivation to do his will. Prayer is powerful. Prayer in the name of Jesus will always lead to action. God calls us to a purpose and action. It's not only to tithe for someone else to do our purpose for us. God calls all of us. The model of today's Western church is not working. God has called each one of us to rise in our own unique call. There is only one man that gets the attention, and that is Jesus. This is about his glory, his mission, and his will to be done. The papal mindset is easy for us to cave into. We need to stop lifting people up above God. Christ leveled the ground. The fivefold ministry are functions. They are not titles. Our titles are sons and daughters, brothers and sisters. Christ is the greatest equalizer for humanity. He levels the ground. Christ is our mediator. We can know God for ourselves. We have direct access. We have the Bible, the Holy Spirit, and a relationship with Jesus and the church. What more do we need? To do what God has called us to do. Let's choose to grow as believers. Let's not look for the easy way out. Let's ask, seek, knock, and do in Jesus' name.